Right, for the fourth example, it's with sigma. Um, so this was cool back when we did it, and now you've got to use it, and they just say calculate, just like that. There's like no other words. Okay. Um, how do I know this is geometric? The formula's got that whole thing with an exponent in it, so it's definitely geometric. So that means when I use my sum formula, I'm, I'm going to end up using my sum one like this. Okay, so I'm just using this as a way of rooting myself. I know I'm going to end up doing that. What do I have? I don't have the SN, that's what I'm supposed to get, because calculate the sum, okay, that's what it means. A I don't have, or I don't have N, I don't have, I've got absolutely nothing. Right, got to start somewhere. Okay, so um, they're basically saying calculate the sum to terms got to do with this thing here, the 19 and the 0. Do you remember that one? Top minus bottom plus 1. That's going to give me n. And then this is the formula. And if I sub in a few, I'll be able to get my r out. Okay, so what I've got to do first is get my number of terms. So n is going to be top minus bottom plus 1. It's going to be 19 minus 0 plus 1. So that is 20. Great, I've got n equals 20. I've got something. Okay. The next thing I'm going to have to do is expand. Okay, so I'm going to have to get T1, T2. Um, I know it's geometric, so I can actually, I can afford to just do T1 and T2, actually. So let's go about that. So T1 is going to be 3 times negative 2 to the 0 minus 1. Plug into calculator. Okay, that gets me to 1, negative 1.5. T2 is going to be 3 times my negative 2 to the next one up, which is 1 minus 1. So that's going to just get me 3. And then I'm just going to say T2 over T1, which is going to be 3 over negative 1.5. So that is negative 2. What did, that, what did that give me again? That was R. So R equals negative 2. I'm just going to put a box around the n that I've got and a box around the r because I'm getting somewhere now. Hang on, I've also got the a. So here is my a. My a is negative 1.5. Have I got enough? n, a and r, n, a and r and I want s, n. I do, I do have enough. Okay, so let's sub in. So that means I'm going to have s, n is going to be my a, which is here, yeah, negative 1.5 to the r, which is negative, just add extra brackets when you use calculator here, it's a negative 2 to the power of n was 20 minus 1. The only problem I foresee with this one is to do with calculator stuff and not um, subbing in correctly, so just do it really carefully. And if you don't agree with me here and you get it wrong, well, then just go back and just check that you're typing correctly, okay? It could well be a little typo. Okay, so when I type that in, I'm going to get 5, 2, 4, 2, 8, 7, 5. 